and welcome to Advent of Code day number one. Um, I'm Liz DeGray, and I am in the Microsoft Reactor space in Sydney, who have uh, generously offered to host me today. And today we're going to be tackling the first of 25 different puzzles in Advent of Code. Um, for folks who don't know, Advent of Code is a set of puzzles that are run um, once every, uh, that are run once a year. And they do 25 different puzzles, each of which has two parts to it. And they're super, super exciting because of the fact that they're vaguely kind of, uh, you know, Christian, uh, Christmas themed. And they're kind of an opportunity for people to test and demonstrate their coding skills. Um, so let me go ahead and log in. And that's going to ask me for my GitHub account. So I'm now logged in and we can start looking at the first puzzle. So each puzzle has a certain structure to it. Um, and there's typically a bunch of flavor text and then a description of what you're supposed to solve. And then there's going to be some um, input file that you have to give it in order. And then it's a space for you to enter an answer. So let me just quickly flip over to my other screen really quickly um, to show you that. So, this is my admin of code directory. And we're going to make a new file here. And I'm just going to create a new file called day01.go. So I know before I even start doing a single, uh, even before I see the puzzle at all, that I know that I'm going to have to do something like this. Um, Okay, something like that. And that's where we sit for now. So now let's go ahead and look at the actual puzzle. So let's have a look at this. So if I click on this, I can start reading through the puzzle. Ah, this is an interplanetary themed advent of code. That's exciting. Um, so it says that um, Santa has been stranded while attempting to deliver uh, puzzles to other planets. Um, and we need to measure 50 different stars in order to unstrand uh, Santa. Great. So let's see this. Um, we don't know how much fuel we need. Oh, dear. Uh, the fuel required to launch a given module is based on its mass. So take its mass, divide by three, round down, subtract two. OK, so we need the total fuel required for each of these. Um, the other convention that I typically do here is I typically do, um, I typically import an entire file at a time. Um, let me see what I did for 2018, something like that. Uh, uh, Okay, so yeah, I need just to ignore all of the input files. Okay. And the other thing I need to do is look at what I did for 2018 about ingesting files. Yeah, okay. So this is pretty standard stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and steal all of this because I know that this is the same boilerplate I use every single year. Uh, so let's just do that really fast uh, and run go format. Okay. So let's have a look at what this input might look like. So let's get my puzzle input, which just is a list of numbers. Great. So let's just swipe that in there. Uh, oops. Oh, interesting. It, it opens it in a new tab now. Sorry, my streaming setup was not, uh, not set up to deal with that new tab situation. So this is what the input file looks like. It's just a list of numbers. So, uh, yep. All right. Um, we want to specifically read this file line by line and to take each line that we see um, 
and and take the integer value and convert it to a number. And then after that, we're going to have to do the rounding logic, etc. So we're just going to do this. Um, actually, let's yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Split contents. Uh, this always reminds me that I have to go and read the documentation. Um, also, yeah, let's let's go ahead and read the documentation. Also, let me make sure that I'm reading my uh, my chat stream. Uh, yes, Twitch. I, I I trust that you to use my cookies appropriately. Okay. Um, so really quickly. Um, I think that it's strings.split um, takes the string to split and then the delimiter, but let's go ahead and look at GoDoc to verify that. So strings GoDoc says split uh, S and sepper. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, so we need to do something big like this, and then uh, stir cond a to i of s. If error is not equal to tail, then let's display what the bad thing is. Let's parse. Okay, and now we need to go back to the puzzle text, our lovely, lovely puzzle text. So our puzzle text says, um, divide by three, round down, subtract two. Uh, let me think about this, okay. Okay. And divided by three, that's automatically going to get rounded down because if I do, four divided by three, that's going to give one because of integer arithmetic, so that's fine. Um, and I'm going to be explicit about order of operations. And then, okay, so something like that should do the trick. So let's go ahead and do this. It's probably gonna complain. Oh, whoops, that would do it. Uh, what did it fail to parse? Oh, right. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, make that uh, handle the new line at the end of the file. Okay. I think I vaguely believe it. Let me just test really quickly on some test inputs. Oh, whoops. Ah, I hit my new streaming software. Um, you didn't see any of this, which is really unfortunate. Um, what about Lightstream? What are people saying about Lightstream? Um, so let's see. So this is what I did earlier and I'm starting to question, okay, let's just do that and let's feed it the things from here, 12, 14, 1969 and 107.56. So let's do that and see what happens. Uh, just make sure that that lines up 34 to 41. And what I think this should be is Two plus two plus six fifty four plus 
33583 is indeed 34241. Okay, I think I believe my input now. Um, so let's go ahead and flip over and input that into my puzzle. That's correct, one gold star done. Okay, uh, but we forgot to add the fuel for its own fuel. Um, yep. Ah. Calculate the fuel requirements for each module separately, then add them all up at the end. Okay, that's that's simple enough. Fair enough. Okay, great. Um, uh, okay, so if part B is true, then we also need to Uh, so if fuel is at least one, then we need to continue doing this. Um, okay, and so I think that should do it. Uh, so let's run it on the simple. Oops. So 5346, uh, that is, I think, correct. Let's track that. So that is going to be flipping back over here. It's going to be uh, let's see. Oh, I need a different simple file. Let's see. So 14 is fine. Uh, 1969 and 10756. Those are the inputs that I have. Okay, so we're going to need to add together 2 plus 70 plus 966. Oh, wait, no. 2 plus 966 plus 5346. Okay, let's check that. So 51314. Why do I get 51309? I am subtly off somewhere. Um, hmm. Okay, what did I misread about the puzzle? Until a fuel requirement is zero or negative. Oh! because I'm adding negative fuel. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I see what I did wrong. That's why we have sample inputs. Um, yeah, I, I see the problem. Um, any mass that would require negative fuel should instead be treated as if it requires zero fuel. There's my problem, okay. Great, I think I understand my problem now. Okay, so. Um, okay. Okay. There we go. I think that should do it, so. That was my error. Let's check that. So that yields 51314. That's fine. Okay. So let's now run this. And there's my answer. Paste it into the device, please. And that's correct. I've completed day one. So that is what my advent calendar looks like, which is a little blank at the bottom. Oh, I see, there's like a little um, outline of a star. Yeah, that looks like an outline of a star. And the next puzzle unlocks in an hour. So I may or may not be back on in an hour or I might just come back tomorrow and do it. Um, so yeah, 
thanks folks for watching. I know that that was kind of a relatively simple warm up problem, but kind of that's, um, you know, a little bit emblematic of what you might expect to see on future days from me. Um, just that, uh, you know, the first time is to get the kinks out, especially with my uh, new live streaming setup. So thanks, take care, and see folks uh, either in an hour or tomorrow, depending upon how I feel.